ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா தண்டவட் பிரணாம் டியர் டிவோட்டீஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் ரீடிங் த புக் த பாத் ஆஃப் பர்ஃபெக்ஷன் பை ஹிஸ் டிவைன் கிரீஸ் ஏசி பக்தி வேதான் சுவாமி ஸ்ரீலா பிரபுபாட் வி ஷால் கண்டினியூ த செப்டர் நம்பர் டென் வட் எவர் த கேஸ் வி மஸ்ட் ஹேவ் ஃபேத் இன் த வேர்ட் ஆஃப் கிருஷ்ணா When we purchase a ticket on Pan American or Air India, we have faith that that company will take us to our destination. Faith is created because the company is authorized. Our faith should not be blind. Therefore, we should accept that which is recognized. Bhagavad Gita has been recognized as authorized scripture in india for thousand of years and even outside india there are many scholars regionalists and philosophers who have accepted bhagavad gita as authoritative it is said that even such a great scientist as albert einstein was reading bhagavad gita regularly so we should not doubt bhagavad gita's authenticity Therefore when Lord Krishna says that there is a supreme abode and that we can go there we should have faith that such an abode exists many philosophers think that the spiritual abode is impersonal or void impersonalists like the sankarits and uh, buddhists generally speak of the void or emptiness But Bhagavad Gita does not disappoint us in this way. The philosophy of voyeurism has simply created atheism because it is the nature of the living entity to want enjoyment. As soon as he thinks that his future is void, he will try to enjoy the very gainess of this material life. Thus Impersonalism leads to armchair philosophical discussions and attachment to material enjoyment we may enjoy speculating but no real spiritual benefit can be derived from such speculation bhakti parisana no bhavu virakti ra anyatra cha bhagavad gita level 2.42 Once we have developed the devotional spirit we will become immediately detached from all kinds of material enjoyment as soon as a hungry man eats he feels immediate satisfaction and says no i don't want any more i'm satisfied this satisfaction is a characteristics of the krishna conscious man brahma bhuta prasannatma நாசோச்சி நாக்காட்சி சமசர்வேஷு பூத்தேஷு மத்பக்திம் லபத்தே பரம் ஒன் ஹூ இஸ் தஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்டென்டலி சிச்சுவேட்டட் அட் ஒன் ரியலைசிஸ் த சுப்ரீம் பிராமன் ஹி நெவர் லெமன்ஸ் நாட் டிசைர்ஸ் டு ஹேவ் எனி திங் ஹி இஸ் ஈக்வலி டிஸ்போஸ் டு எவ்ரி லிவிங் ஆன்டிடி in that state he attains pure devotional service unto me bhagavad gita 18.54 as soon as one is spiritually realized he feels full satisfaction and no longer hankers after flickering material enjoyment as stated in the second chapter of bhagavad gita 2.59 visaya vinivartante நிராஹரஸ்யாஜம்ரசோப்பியாஜ்மெண்ட்ஸ்பீரியன்சிங்ஸ்னஸ் A doctor may tell a diseased man, don't eat this, don't eat that, don't have sex, don't, don't. In this way, a diseased man is forced to accept so many, don'ts. But inside he is thinking, 
man is forced to accept so many but inside he is thinking oh if i can just get these things i'll be very happy the desires remain inside however when one is established in krishna consciousness he is so strong inside that he doesn't experience the desire although he is not important he doesn't want sex but he can marry thrice but still be detached param drishtva nivartarte when something superior is acquired one naturally gives up all inferior things that which is superior is the supreme personality of god hate and atheism and impersonalism cannot give us this he is attained only by unalloyed devotion purusha sa paraha partha bhaktya labhyastav ananya yasyantastani bhutani ena sarvam idam idam tatam the supreme personality of god hate who is greater than all is attained by unalloyed devotion although he is present in his abode he is all pervading and everything is situated within him bhagavad gita 8.22 the words purushaha sa paraha indicate the supreme person who is greater than all others this is not a voice speaking but a person who has all the characteristics of personality in full just as we are talking face to face when we reach the supreme abode we can talk to god face to face we can play with him eat with him and everything else this state is not acquired by mental speculation but by transcendental loving service bhaktiya labhya the words tva ananyaya indicate that this bhakti must be without adulteration it must be unalloyed although the supreme personality is a person and is present in his abode in the spiritual sky he is so wide spread that everything is within him he is both inside and outside although god is everywhere he still has his kingdom his abode the sun may pervert the universe with its sunshine yet the sun itself is a separate entity in his supreme abode the supreme lord has no rival wherever we may be we find a predominating personality in the united states the predominating personality is the president however when the next election comes the president will have so many rivals but in the spiritual sky the supreme lord has no rival those who want to become rivals are placed in this material world under the conditions of material nature in the spiritual sky there is no rivalry and all the inhabitants therein are liberated souls from shrimad bhagavatam we receive information that their bodily features resemble gods in some of the spiritual planets god manifests a two arm form and in others he manifests a four arm form the living entities of those planets have corresponding features and one cannot distinguish who is god and who is not this is called sarupya mukti liberation wherein one has the same features as the lord there are five kinds of liberation sayujya sarupya salokya sarshti and samipya sayujya mukti means merging into god's impersonal effulgence the brahma jyoti we have discussed this and have concluded that the attempt to merge and lose individuality is not desirable and is very risky sarupya mukti means attaining a body exactly like gods salokya mukti means living on the same planet with god 
Srashti Mukti means having the opulence of God. For instance, God is very powerful and we can become powerful like Him. That is called Srashti. Samipya Mukti means always remembering, remaining with God as one of His associates. For instance, Arjuna is always with Krishna and his friend. And this is called Samipya Mukti. We can attain any one of these five types of liberation. But out of these five, Sayucha Mukti merging into the Brahma Jyoti is rejected by Vaishnava philosophy. According to the Vaishnava philosophy, we worship God as He is and retain our separate identity eternally in order to serve Him. According to the Maha Maya Vada philosophy, philosophy, in personalism one tries to lose his individual identity and merge into the experience of the Supreme. That, however, is a suicidal policy and is not recommended by Krishna in Bhagavad Gita. This has also been rejected by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who advocated worship in separation. As stated before, the pure devotee does not even want liberation. He simply asks to remain Krishna's devotee birth after birth. This is Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's prayer. And the words birth after birth indicate that there is no liberation. This means that a devotee doesn't care whether he is liberated or not. He simply wants to engage in Krishna consciousness, to serve the Supreme Lord, always wanting to engage in God's transcendental loving service is the symptom of pure devotion. Of course, wherever a devotee is, he remains in the spiritual kingdom, even though in the material body. On his part, he does not demand any of the five types of liberation, nor anything for his personal superiority or comfort. But in order to associate with God in the spiritual planets, one must become his pure devotee. For those who are not pure devotees, Lord Krishna explains at what times one should leave the body in order to attain liberation. Yadrakaletva anapratim avartitam chaiva yogina prayata yanti tam kalam vakshami bharata sarbha. O best of the Bharatas, I shall now explain to you the different times at which, passing away from this world, one does or does not come back. Bhagavad Gita 8.23 in India, unlike in the West, it is common for astrologers to make minute calculations of the astronomical situation at the moment of one's birth. Indeed, a person's horoscope is read not only when he is born, but also when he dies. In order to determine what his situation will be in the next life, all this can be determined by astrological calculation. In this verse, Lord Krishna is accepting those astrological principles, confirming that if one leaves his body at a particular time, he may attain liberation. If one dies at one moment, he may be liberated. Or if he dies at another moment, he may have to return to the material world. It is all a question of chance, but that chance some way or other is what one has. For the devotee, however, there is no question of chance. Whatever the astrological situation, the devotee in Krishna conscious is guaranteed liberation. For others, there are chances that if they leave their body at a particular moment, they may attain liberation and enter the spiritual kingdom, or they may be reborn. Agnir Jyotir Aha Sukla Sanmasa Uttarayanam 
ತಯಟಕಂತಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿಧೋಜನ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ನೋ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಿಯರಿ ಗಾಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೈಟ್ ಎಟ್ ಆನ್ ಆಸ್ಪಿಷಿಯಸ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ನೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೂನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನಾರ್ಥ್ ಭಗವದ್ ಗೀತಾ ಏಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ as we all know the sun's movements are different six months it is north of the equator and six months it is south the sun is also moving according to vedic calculations and from shrimad bhagavatam we are informed that the sun is situated at the center of the universe just as all the planets are moving The sun is also moving at a speed calculated to be 16000 miles per second. If a person dies when the sun is in the northern hemisphere, he can attain liberation. That is not only the verdict of Bhagavad Gita but also of other scriptures. Dhumo ratri satha krishna sanmasa dakshinayanam ತತ್ರ ಚಂದ್ರಮಾಸ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ ಯೋಗಿ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯ ನಿವರ್ತತೆ ದ ಮಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಹೂ ಪಾಸಿಸ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಮೋಕ್ ದ ನೈಟ್ ದ ಮುನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟ್ ನೈಟ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಪಾಸಿಸ್ ಟು ದ ಸೌತ್ ಆರ್ ಹೂ ರಿಚಿಸ್ ದ ಮೂನ್ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಕಾಮ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಭಗವದ್ ಗೀತಾ ಏಟ್ ನೋ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೀ ವೆನ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೈ and in that sense the moment of one's death is accidental however for a devotee in krishna consciousness there is no question of accidents shukla krishne gatir he ete jagata sasvate mate ekaya yati anavrittim anyaya vartate puna According to the Vedas there are two ways of passing from this world one in light and one in darkness when one passes in light he does not come back but when one passes in darkness he returns Bhagavad Gita 8.26 The same description of departure and return is quoted by Acharya Baladeva Vidya Bhushana from the Chandogya Upanishad in such a way those who are fruitive laborers and philosophical speculators from time immemorial are constantly going and coming actually they do not attain ultimate salvation for they do not surrender to krishna naite sriti partha janan yogi muyati kanchana tasmat sarveshu kaleshu yoga yukto bhavarjana the devotees who know these two paths o arjuna are never bewildered therefore be always fixed in devotion bhagavad gita 8.27 here in the lord confirms that there is no chance for one who practices bhakti yoga his destination is certain whether he dies when the sun is in the northern or southern hemisphere is of no importance as we have already stated if one thinks of krishna at the time of death he will at once be transferred to krishna's abode therefore krishna tells arjuna to always remain in krishna consciousness this is possible through the chanting of hari krishna since krishna and his spiritual kingdom are not different being absolute krishna and his sound vibration are the same simply by vibrating krishna's name we can enjoy krishna's association if we are walking down the street chanting hare krishna krishna is also going with us if we walk down the street and look up at the sky we may see that the sun or the moon is accompanying us i can recall about 50 years ago when i was a householder my second son who was about 4 years old at the time was walking with me down the street 
and he suddenly asked me father why is the moon going with us if a material object like the moon has the power to accompany us we can surely understand that the supreme lord who is all powerful can always remain with us being omnipotent he can always keep us company provided that we are also qualified to keep his company pure devotees are always merged in the thought of krishna and are always remembering that krishna is with them lord chaitanya mahaprabhu has confirmed this absolute nature of krishna in his shikshashtakam verse 2 नाम नाम अकारी बहुदानि च सर्व शक्ति तत्रार्पिता नियमिता स्मरणे न कलह एतादृशी तव कृपा भगवन् ममापि दुर्दैवम इदृशम इहाजनी नानो रघा माय लॉर्ड ओ सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड इन योर होली नेम देयर इज ऑल गुड फॉर्च्यून for the living entity and therefore you have many names such as krishna and govinda by which you expand yourself you have invested all your potencies in those names and there are no hard and fast rules for remembering them my dear lord although you bestow such mercy upon the fallen conditioned souls by liberally teaching your holy names i am so unfortunate that i commit offenses while chanting the holy name and therefore i do not achieve attachment for chanting we may take the effort to spend a great deal of money and attempt to build or establish a temple for krishna but if we do so we must observe many rules and regulations and see properly to the temple's management but here in it is confirmed that simply by chanting any man can have the benefit of keeping company with krishna just as arjuna is deriving benefit by being in the same chariot with lord shri krishna we can also benefit by associating with krishna through the chanting of his holy names हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे दिस महामंत्र इज नॉट माय पर्सनल कॉन्कॉक्शन बट इज ऑथराइज्ड बाय लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु हु इज कंसीडर्ड टू बी नॉट ओनली एन ऑथोरिटी बट द इनकारनेशन ऑफ लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण हिमसेल्फ इट वाज लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु हु सेड ओ लॉर्ड You are so kind to the people of this material world that you expand yourself in your holy name so that they can associate with you although the maha mantra is in the sanskrit language and many people do not know its meaning it is still so attractive that people participate when it is chanted publicly when chanting the maha mantra we are completely safe even in this most dangerous position we should always be aware that in this material world we are always in a dangerous position shrimad bhagavatam confirms padam padam yat vipadam na tesam shrimad bhagavatam 10.14.58 in this world there is danger at every step the devotees of the lord however are not mean to remain in this miserable dangerous place therefore we should take care to advance in krishna consciousness while in this human form then our happiness is assured hari krishna shila prabhupad ki jai